Um, I'm the coordinator for Portland Locals Opposing Poo, which is known effectively on the island as PLOP. Uh, we are tackling the issue of abandoned dog mess on the island for the benefit of the community. I think our project is important as it's brought many different areas of our community together all with the common goal of trying to reduce the amount of abandoned dog mess on our beautiful island. That, the benefit of that is for everybody. Um, it's for the children, it's for people that are in wheelchairs that have an issue with it. Um, we, have, uh, we live in a very nice place, um, it has a good community base uh, and um, we want to reduce the health hazard that dog mess um, presents to everybody on the island. I started um, PLOP with the help of many other people um, because I was upset about walking in dog mess with my children on the way on the school run. Had a bit of a rant on Facebook uh, and Dave Symes, who's one of the community organisers, actually contacted me to see if I would be willing with him to set up a group in order to tackle this issue. Um, with the use of social media, we've been able to get people from all sorts of backgrounds to get involved. There have been some very creative people in our group uh, and I think we've achieved quite a lot in a very short space of time um, thanks to uh, Dave and Bill who've, who've been great in pointing us in the right direction and getting us all together. We've been really lucky in that we've had people of all ages have all come forward um, and assisted us with this project. Um, we've had some very imaginative and humorous campaigns. We started off with uh, a cartoon poster which um, seemed to get everyone talking about the event. We also had car stickers uh, which was something else fun that people wanted to have on their vehicles. We've had plop scopes where people have gone out and counted the amount of dog mess so we could try and record where were the problem areas. We did a big plop walk um, from the top of the island down to the bottom of the island and we had I think there's about 25 to 40 people that turned up uh, with their dogs and their kids and all, all to assist us and raise awareness of the group. Uh, we also recently, uh, on the bank holiday, August bank holiday, we hung what looked like um, abandoned dog mess uh, in uh, nappy sacks all across um, a fence as you came into Portland to highlight the importance of binning, um, uh, bagging and binning any dog mess that you had. Um, I think... We try to try and keep new ideas coming in to keep people interested. We don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again because I think people get bored and also people don't like to be preached at. So that's why we always have humour as an element in any of the campaigns that we do. On Portland, because we have a really strong community base, so the feedback from everyone on the island on the most part has been really positive. We've had interest from local media, including Radio Solent, Wessex FM and the Dorset Evening Echo have been a big supporter of us. Um, we've had people get in contact with us from other areas as well who are keen to replicate what we've set up in this area in their area. So, um, yeah, we, we've had a really good response.